What did I do with those cr Mr. Brush? Mr. Brush! Did you start the video already without me? Oh, hi boys and girls. Mr. Brush, he must be very excited to see you today. He knows that we're gonna be coloring our beautiful daisy pictures, doesn't he? Are you excited, Mr. Brush? We're not painting today, though. Oh, don't be sad. We'll paint next week, I promise, okay? Okay, do you wanna just kinda hang out and watch how we're gonna color these today? All right, you can stay right here. How about that? We'll put you right here. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the art table. And I hope that you have your happy daisy pictures that we drew last week together. You're going to need your crayon box. Um, as many colors as you have, the more the merrier. Remember um, when we talked about Takashi Murakami and his art, he uses almost every color ever invented in his daisies. There is no right or wrong way to color these today but I do want you to practice using good craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is how we use the art materials. And when I say good craftsmanship, that means that we're taking care of the crayons. We're not breaking them, cracking them. And we're coloring on our paper as neatly and as carefully as we can. So as far as coloring goes, the way that I like to color, I chose this really nice red violet color and I'm gonna do my largest daisy. I'm gonna do the flower petals this color. Now you can create a pattern. You can switch and do a rainbow of different colors or you can do one or the other all the way around or you could just color every one in the same color. That's your choice. Um, I'm gonna do a pattern and I want to make sure that my pattern is going to work out okay. So I'm just going every other one just to make sure and my pattern does work. So I have an even number of petals. So I am going to start coloring in. Now when I color, I like to get a nice bright color, so I'm pressing kind of hard, which means that I want to hold the crayon down towards the tip. If I press really hard and I'm holding it in the middle, that's when the crayon kind of cracks or breaks because I'm pressing pretty hard because I want to get a nice bright color. And then as I go, I kind of turn my page. So I color in the lines as carefully as I can. And if you see, I'm trying to make sure that all of the white space is gone when I am finished. So I'm going to continue doing this pattern and then I'm gonna pick another color for the other petals. My petals are done and now I'm going to work on the face. So let's do, I'm going to do yellow. Now I want to make sure that I keep that yellow inside so I kind of go along the edges. And then I want to make sure when I fill this in, I'm going to do just this part and then I'm going to go around the eyes. That helps me to keep it looking neat and I don't have any scribbles, don't have white spaces, and I stay inside the lines. This is really good coloring practice. Remember, the neater you color, the better your picture will end up looking when it's finished. 
Looking pretty good, I think. Let's try some other ones. So I'm gonna keep going all around and I'm gonna be filling in a lot of these daisies with lots of bright colors. too bad so you can follow that pattern and then I'm gonna give him his big red mouth and I think I might leave his face white for now all right let's see where else I can add some color. so I'm gonna add some orange inside the mouth and then after this I'm going to stop and then I'm going to save my paper somewhere safe because then next week in all of the other empty spaces we're going to add some paint color so we'll use some watercolors and I bet I know who's going to be happy about that Mr. Brush really wants to finish these off don't you buddy so what do you think Mr. Brush do you like this picture how did all your friends do at home do they look good take a close look how do they look? Oh, it looks like Mr. Brush thinks you guys did a great job. I bet you did. I can't wait to see them after they're finished next week. So keep your picture somewhere safe. Um, make sure you get your watercolors ready to paint the rest of this with me next week. And Mr. Brush, he'll be back. And have a wonderful week, my friends. And I will see you next time in the art room. Bye.